This video is sponsored by CyberGhost VPN. Please stick around to the end to see how you can stay safe on the internet. Joan Laporta is Barcelona president once more. As part of his re-election campaign, he made a series of promises, including that he would extend Lionel Messi's contract and sign high-quality players. But he also pledged to restore the reputation of La Masia, the club's academy. But with the production having slowed to a trickle, how can that be done? The first clue comes from Laporta himself. La Masia will be our pillar, the backbone of the club's values, he claimed during the election campaign. It's a remark that reveals Laporta believes La Masia to have become too peripheral. In a previous video, we covered the story of its fading relevance in detail, and there is no single way to restore it. Rather, it requires a different type of thinking that will, over time, re-emphasize its importance. Not since the late Tito Villanova has the club employed a head coach who grew up in the system and around Barcelona's methodology. The effect, in combination with the post-Laporta trend of signing many more players from outside the club, has been a dilution of identity. The same identity which La Masia was established to preserve. But there's good news on that front. Laporta has inherited a head coach in Ronald Koeman, who has flaws but who, unlike his predecessor, has shown faith in young players and willingness to give them opportunities. Laporta's role will be to incubate that change and encourage it further. Mostly that involves intangibles, patience, good faith and resilience to criticism. As important as homegrown talent is, allowing it to mature can sometimes require the sacrifice of short-term ambitions. So the first step for Laporta is to employ a head coach who believes in the club academy. And he might have that already. But the second will be to protect the coach from the criticism of those who are unwilling to make such a compromise. The transfer market too is clearly an issue. During his first term as president, Laporta never depended entirely on La Masia. He regularly supported first Frank Rijgaard and then Pep Guardiola with plenty of external signings, as he may do again, but likely with more control over the aim of the policy. It will be difficult. Balancing ideals with competitive strength is probably harder now than ever before. The mistake the club made in the past, though, was not limiting their external recruitment to players who were genuinely rare or absolutely necessary. Most likely, Laporta will make that change early, reverting to a strategy that privileges players of a certain age profile. He might also mandate that signings should only garnish the first-team squad, not just stock it for depth, add to the wage bill and create obstructions for younger players who are already at the club. In the first instance, because those chances would help players fulfil their potential, and in the second, because it would stop them believing that they have to leave the club to get that chance, an issue which has led to one of the biggest talent drains in Europe. So far, though, the measures proposed are only philosophical. They are tweaks and adjustments made to the atmosphere outside La Masia. But Laporta will probably reason that full restoration will require material change to the system of production itself, and there are inefficiencies there as well. In 2017, Goal.com published an interview with a former youth coach, quoting him anonymously as saying that the club's idea is different to what it was before, and that a greater physical emphasis has crept into an academy which previously had favoured touch and technique. But it's no surprise really that things have changed, or that the methodology in production and talent selection has become muddled. Dozens of youth coaches have left Barcelona over the past decade. What was apparently once an almost familial atmosphere led by veteran coaches has changed in tone. There have been frustrations over reported blockages in the club's pipeline, particularly concerning the composition and use of the B team, and in some cases there's been outright acrimony. In late 2019, for instance, legendary former goalkeeper Victor Valdez was dismissed as an under-19s coach, following a series of disagreements with, among others, Patrick Cliver, the club's academy director. Clivert's contract is due to expire in June 2021 and it's not expected to be renewed. And within that lies a further indication as to Laporta's likely thinking. Clivert may have played at camp now, but he was raised at Ajax. And in spite of the crossover between the two clubs' culture, doesn't obviously espouse the virtues associated with young Barcelona players. In fact, he was a rather strange appointment. According to recent reports, he is likely to be replaced by Jose Ramon Alexanco, who won three La Liga titles and a European Cup under Johan Cruyff in the late 80s and early 90s. And Johan's son Jordi Cruyff is expected to join the new football department too and work under new sporting director Matteo Alemeni. 
Very obviously, Laporta is furnishing the club's technical structure with these like-minded people, and as a result, it wouldn't be a surprise if some of those La Masia coaches who departed over recent years started to return. The intention would be to harmonise the thinking inside the club and restore some of the idealism. Which isn't to say that Laporta's return is destined to provoke a great gush of La Masia talent. The academy's modern reputation is partly sustained by the success of the classes of 87 and 91, and of those who graduated from the classes before and shortly after. And it would be naive to expect the club to ever reproduce so many good players in such a short space of time again. In addition to which, that kind of ability is now more vulnerable at a young age. More so than it was before, when Barcelona lost Gerard Piquet to Manchester United and Cesc Fabregas and Hector Bellerin to Arsenal. The wealthy English clubs might be kept at bay by post-Brexit legislation, but the threat remains elsewhere. Having joined Barcelona at the age of seven, for instance, Xavi Simmons was snatched away as a 15-year-old by Paris Saint-Germain, who reportedly offered him a 1 million euro a year contract in 2019. Barcelona have always been unwilling to reward their youth prospects so decadently, and today, with such a substantial debit and vast wage bill to reduce, Joan Laporta isn't really in a position to reverse that policy. So he's restricted. He also needs to find different solutions to several different problems all at the same time, some of which have no obvious answers. But a process seems to have begun, and the path forward seems vaguely clear. Should everyone at Barcelona start thinking about La Masia in that same way, that would certainly be a start. Here at TIFO, we take internet security very seriously. And for that reason, we are pleased to be sponsored today by CyberGhost VPN, a world-leading private virtual network provider. Now, we love watching football, that of course goes without saying, but what we don't love is the buffering and lagging when watching games online. CyberGhost VPN has apps for all platforms, with over 6,900 servers in 90 plus countries, and their extensive infrastructure is designed specifically for speed, unlimited bandwidth, and the smoothest streaming experiences. No more throttling, buffering, or lagging. They're experts at this, they have a proven track record of keeping no logs, and one subscription can protect up to seven devices at the same time. So, if you want to enjoy all of your football matches securely, now's the time to get CyberGhost VPN. And they have a fantastic deal for you. If you'd like to browse and stream safely online, CyberGhost VPN is offering a special exclusive deal to TIFO viewers of just £1.94 per month, plus four months free. That's an 84% discount. And their 45-day money-back guarantee and 24-7 customer support makes it all risk-free. So, football fans, use the link in the description and sign up for CyberGhost VPN today. Thank you for watching today's video.